Hey guys, John here, and welcome to Cube World Alpha. So some of you may know the story behind the game Cube World. Uh, it was back in, what was it, 2012, 2013, when this game popped up. Everyone was super excited about it. Uh, obviously, voxel games were really big because of Minecraft, and everybody was making games like that. But this game, with its RPG elements and adventures and everything, really had people excited. And then the developer sort of disappeared for several years <laughs> and the game just never got developed any further uh, and a lot of people sort of gave up on it. Um, recently, uh, the developer resurfaced and announced that the game was going to be coming to Steam and it was going to have a whole bunch of changes and new stuff and, and actually be released. Um, and, uh, so I thought since that is now out on Steam and I could go ahead and redeem, uh, my copy of the game because if you previously bought the game, you get a free Steam key, which was, was cool of him to do. Um, but anyway, I, I figured since I'm going to be doing that probably here in the near future, uh, why not take one last look at Cube World Alpha as it was before we do any sort of stuff with the new release? So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and whoops, <laughs> actually click out of the screen. All right, so let's hit start game. Uh, my save file didn't carry over from before, so I guess we're making a brand new character, but that's fine. Uh, let's see, here we go. So let's see here. We've got human. Elf, Dwarf, Orc, Goblin, Lizard, Undead, Frogman. Okay, uh, I believe in the past I had played as Human and Undead. Maybe, I don't know, maybe one other at some point. But I think what I want to do this time is, let's see. You know, for fun, we could be a frog, man. Why not? Uh, oh my gosh, the female has the the eyelashes. That's funny. Um, okay, so warrior class, ranger, mage, rogue. Uh, let's go warrior. Uh, we'll just keep it simple. Ranger and stuff is difficult. I remember. Uh, different face options here. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we got to go with that. And the haircut changes his eyes, which is funny. Uh, we're going to go with that one. I like that a lot. All right. And then uh, does this have any bearing? No, it doesn't. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, please continue. Hello. Oh, I got to put in a name. My bad. And, of course, we will be John. Actually, no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll be slippy. <laughs> there we go. Uh, create a new world. The seed must be a number. All right, 38. Name, chaos. Create the world, please. Whoa, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, I upped that render distance. I'm not sure I upped it quite enough, but hey, whatever. All right. And then small hit, big hit. Gotcha. Uh, what do we got here? Oh yeah, here's where we like level up stuff. And our inventory and what have you, equipment. Can I equip that? Because I would very much like to. Oh, I can only have that, huh? Wait, no, I, what? No, yeah, I can't. That's unfortunate, actually. And here's the world map. Yeah, it looks like a town is over that way. Okay. So that's where we're going. Let's head over to the town and see what we see along the way. Mouse sensitivity a little high, 
but I don't know if I can adjust that on the fly here. We do want to pick up mushrooms and things that we see along the way that could be of use to us. There's some uh, something going on over here. What are you? You're a turtle. I believe pretty much all the animals you can see be can become pets, I believe, if you have the right thing to give them, but we don't have anything to give him. Uh, and several of the pets are actually rideable as well. Um, but yeah. There we go. Collect some supplies from that. Hey guys. Oh god. Oh god. I, I didn't, I wasn't trying to pick a fight with you. I really wasn't. Um, okay. Oh god. Um, 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 Q. Okay, we've healed. Stop it. Oh, got it. Yes! Frick you. Oh, your friend's heading this way. <laughs> no, stop it. Oh god, am I still heading, heading toward the town? I don't know anymore. Alright, is he still chasing me? He is. Ah. Trying to pick this stuff up. Pick up a quick health potion here. We run away. So yeah, this is the thing. You'd encounter these guys randomly out in the wild. Could really get you into trouble. died. I almost died. Oh, that was very close. Alright. Got you. Oh. Well, we used up almost all our health potions. <laughs> um, yeah. That's not good. Oh, but I could sleep. Oh. I wouldn't have had to have used that last health potion because I'm dumb, but you know. Uh, examine. Can we cook? I think we can. Uh, how do we do this? I remember there being a way to cook things. Maybe we don't have the right stuff for that. Alright, never mind. Uh, there's the town over there. So let's try to get over there without taking a bunch of fall damage but yeah that's the kind of stuff that you could encounter um and sometimes you're gonna come across people that you can't beat um so it's a good idea to, to not pick fights to avoid people until you're sure you can take them on um yeah like this guy he's blue so i think he's safe i think yeah if it says talk yeah, I look like an adventurer. Okay, so he's okay. Uh, these guys are not. These guys are definitely not. Definitely not okay. That looks like uh, a llama. Hello, llama. Oh, it's an alpaca. Pardon me. Again, if I had the right things, I could uh, possibly tame him. Um... <laughs> There's nothing special. Yeah, I believe what it is with those is when you die, you appear at the closest one of those to you. So yeah, uh, crows are not hostile unless you attack. I think the name is what it is. Like it's orange, so it would only attack me if I attacked it. Red attacks you automatically. Blue is friendly. I think that's how it works, if I recall. Uh, let's head over to the town. Uh, with the towns, you can find people who can train you to level you up. You can also find, like, food and stuff. Like this. Uh, which you can just totally steal. <laughs> you can also find different kinds of animals for pets as well. Uh, there's a sheep. Hello, sheep. And a kitty cat. Um, okay, so has this town got enough size to it to have things that are useful to us like trainers i don't think so i think this is just going to have an in nothing special okay sometimes those can have things 
So we go in the inn and hi. We can rest in our inn between six o'clock in the evening and six o'clock in the morning. All right. So yeah, then you can take a bed and, and heal up. Okay. But yeah, this is uh hello pig. This is not well, well there's more of the town over here. Let's see. I was hoping we could find one of the trainer guys so that I could show you how that works. Um getting XP in the wild is doable as long as you encounter the right things. There are also some of the docile animals you can kill for XP if you're so inclined. Um but uh but yeah, there's not a ton to the game. I mean, there there's more than I'm going to be able to show in this little one-off. There are like dungeons that you can find and 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 a lot of of interesting concepts that were not fully realized. Uh you can level up a bunch to the point where you can definitely take on just about anybody, but at the same time um there's uh there's not a whole lot of purpose to it all, you see. So now I've gotten a bunch of pineapple, which if you remember the campfire showed we could cook, and you can, and that heals you more than uncooked food does. I think probably the same with the pumpkin. Um, I'm not seeing the trainer guy just yet. Um, we're not actually fully into the main city yet, though, so uh, let's head on in deeper here. And we'll see what's uh, what's going on here. Hello, Terrier. Little puppet dog. Ah, hi, here's the trainer. Hello. Hi. I like your style. Oh, but it's a... Okay. So, if I was human, I think they would train me. But as it stands, I don't believe they will. Yeah, no. That's unfortunate, actually. So I probably should have chosen human, huh? So you're probably also... Oh, wait. Are you looking for weapons? Weapon shop. Maybe you're not the main trainer, then. Hold on. Let me check all of you people. Yeah, you probably are. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I think it it depends on your race on getting the right person to train you. Not entirely sure. Okay, I believe this person has maybe a quest. I already explored Narcor Canyon. No. I marked the location on your map. Narcor Canyon. Oh, okay. It's not really a quest so much as uh as telling me nearby like dungeon stuff. And I already had one area on my on my map as well. Okay, Adventure District, yeah. So I don't know about the, the training thing if if, if that's something limited to race or not, I can't really remember. It's been a really long time, guys. Come on, I haven't played this game in like five years, so give me a break, or more, maybe. Um, hi. Okay, so you can sell me stuff. How much money do I actually have? <laughs> um, so if I can't use this shield, I'll sell it. Oh, I, here's my money. 64C. Okay. I also have two swords that I don't need. I'll sell one of those. Um, And so then I can look at some of this stuff. So see, like... Crit chance is up with that. Crit chance and temporary something or other. Um, but you can see these things can have other effects, which can be useful. Um, so let's see. This is a just a sword. This is a long sword. Oh, but it's a rogue. So you can see the class limitations on some of these things, or power limitations as well. Um, he has a lot of things to sell. For sure. Boomerang is a ranger. Yeah, yeah. So we're probably not going to find anything we can actually use uh, as of right now. So uh, I believe... Can I equip this? I can. And I can't have both. So that's eight. But the sword's four. However, this probably... Uh, oops, I keep it in the wrong button. Yeah, they can do a little bit faster, crazier stuff with the sword. 
charge shots and yeah so let's rock the sword for a bit um where was that dungeon thing i kind of want to show off something like that okay so there's one over there ish yeah i'm running up against the building but over there ish so let's head in that direction i'll try to show that off have some sort of an encounter there and then we'll probably wrap up this one off but like i said this was basically just a little bit of nostalgia and to see what it was like before we see what the new cube world is like and i have to say i've seen a lot of people complaining about the new cube world which is unfortunate um it's you know people are never going to be happy especially when they've had to wait you know five six years for uh for any any update at all basically and um you know i understand that uh i do all right we're going this way more now um bye. but yeah i understand that it's just it's unfortunate that it's getting a ton of criticism now when it's actually got a chance of you know having some stuff happen with it um People are like, oh, you know, it's missing certain things. Some things were taken out. Some things were changed I don't like or whatever. And it's like, yeah, but at least it's it's available. It's on Steam. You know, you can, you can play it with friends. You can expect more updates and more visibility from the developer now. Like, I get being a little upset that it's not you know what you were hoping for but on the other hand maybe don't uh oh god oh god oh he got stunned i'm dead i'm so dead oh i'm so dead run away no We uh we were not prepared for this man. So we're just gonna run very far away and hope that eventually he gives up. <laughs> Whoops. Pressing shift makes you go slower, not faster. As it turns out. I'm hoping I get far enough away that he gives up eventually. Typically typically they will give up after a bit. He's still following me. This guy is relentless. I'm gonna end up running into more trouble. Okay, I think he's finally given up. Oof. Oh, there's some guys over there. Alright, so... Am I good? Okay, I'm good. So let me look at... Ingredients, yes. Um... How do I... Can I not eat these things? I would very much like to eat these things. I can't equip them. Well, um... Hmm. Maybe I have to cook them on a campfire or something? Possibly. Well, I'm going to probably... Oh, wait, there's a campfire. Um, are you friendly? Maybe. I'm not really going to risk it, though. I'm just going to try to... Cook up some pineapple here. <laughs> Alright, so we're making some pineapple slices. Cooking them over the campfire, I guess, here. Please don't attack me. I can do crap to you. I can also sleep to heal up. I forgot that. <laughs> I was just fixing to eat all of those pineapple slices when I didn't have to. So we'll be set to go on full health, at least, over to the place. And we'll have some pineapple. So that's good. Um, let me look here at... Life potion. Okay, you need a water flask to go with those. Okay, there's no chance we have... I'm getting that right now, so 
whatevs. Um, we are close to where we're going. Okay, it's that tower there. So we're going to get annihilated, most likely, but that's okay. Because we are just here to show this off. To be quite honest. <laughs> oh. Ah. God, that scared me. Defeat the ruler in the ruins of Terroron. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be full of enemies, and it's also going to... Oh, there's a, there's a campfire here, which is nice. Uh, it's also going to have a boss. And I've... I can't remember, but I don't think I ever actually beat a boss in one of these places. I made it pretty far into one one time, I remember, and then had to bail to get uh, health stuff. Okay, well, I fell down here. You know? I saw somebody up there, which had me wondering if I could get to them. Where is the way into this place? <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. So let's go around this way and see if there's an entrance. It's not here, obviously. Got to be a way in somewhere, though, doesn't it? Wouldn't you think maybe up here? Mm hmm. Arrow. Entrance, please. Oh, well, I'm down here now. Um, those are wolves that are going to kill me. Okay. You know, I don't know where I'm going. Where's the entrance to this joint? I got to try to circle around and not get killed by, uh, big bad wolves over here. The cows, I know you can also kill, I think. Oh, oh, and then he, he fights back. Oh, okay. You know, I, I didn't expect that, uh, exactly. I probably should have expected that, but I didn't expect that. Um, yeah, um, angry cow, angry cow on the loose. Oh, I think I found the entrance. Sure did. Um, unfortunately, got a, got a cow situation. Oh, wait, cow's gonna fight them. Ha ha ha. Okay, cow's dead, running past them. Uh... Uh-huh. Yeah, there's there's traps in here. Oh god. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. All right. Well, so that was a dungeon. Uh <laughs> Hey, what up? And the identifier, huh? Okay. So what have we learned today? Um Everything wants you dead. Don't hit a cow. And we're not ready for uh, for a dungeon, basically. What the frick is happening? Oh, is Lizard Man getting attacked by cows? You're so dead, friend. Or you're not, maybe. Oh, he is dead. Oh, he's very dead. Alright, I'm at least killing one of you frickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got like, uh, what did I get there? Plainwood wand. What? Allow me to eat, please. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. I'm not sure that actually benefited me. Uh, I want to get over there. I want to get over there. I want to get over Oh, there's a wolf there. Uh, Hey, uh, hey, wolf, could you fight the cow? Because that would be useful to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do that. Now I'm going to sleep, and you guys fight. <laughs> wolf one. Not shocking. Oh, he's after me. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. We're friends. We're friends, I swear. Look, Wolf O'Donnell, just because I work for Star Fox, you don't have to kill me, okay? Really, you don't. It's fine. You, you, you can, uh, can leave me alone. Oh, hey. Could you help me? I say help me, but I'm actually going to attempt to kill you. I 
nice moves, buddy. Come on, chickens, hit him. Hit him, chickens. Hit him, chickens. There you go. Yes, help me. Oh no, now they're they're hitting me. Oh, they're hitting me. <laughs> chickens, we were on the same side. I mean, I may have hit you a few times, but like, we were on the same side. Ah, uh, wolves again. Oh god, run, run, running from the chickens. Oh god, you guys are all gonna kill me, aren't you? No, wait, we're the same people. We are the same people. You must, you must help me. Hey. How's it going? Oh, that's cool. Hang gliding, sailing. Yeah, same. Yeah, cool. All right, well, now that I found my people, I think we're going to end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little nostalgic return to the alpha of Cube World, which uh, if you have an account uh, on the Picorama site, you can still download and play the original um, and if you did own it before, you can get a Steam key for the new version for free. So definitely check that out. And uh, I'll be checking out the new version here in the near future, hopefully. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Anyway, my name is John. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.